Do you get bugs and weevils in your pantry eating your flowers? Like, look at this, it's so gross. It's, I can even see flapping bits hanging off there. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Belinda. And I'm very good at helping people pinpoint the root cause to their symptoms, okay? Whether it be fatigue issues, sleeping problems, energy issues, insomnia, okay? Skin problems and so, so much more. And one thing that we do in this household uh, is actually use low tox methods, okay? To help prevent insects, right? But I do have a weevil problem, okay? Hi Beverly, if you're popping on live, just say hello and let us know where you're coming in from. And if you are watching this on the replay, then just say replay down below. So now I have a weevil problem and I use low tox methods to help reduce how many weevils I've had. And I'll admit I'm cleaning out my pantry. It's probably two years too late because there's lots of uh, gross things in there that are totally out of date that I should have thrown in the bin ages ago. <laughs> but I'm curious to know what, how do you prevent weevils and little bugs from getting into your flour from eating through your tea bags okay because i threw out a whole box of tea bags uh that had had little holes in them Ugh. okay and i do use low tox methods but i'm open to finding other solutions to help prevent this in the future and maybe there are other people here who could use some of this information as well okay so if you know any of those solutions then please pop them in the comments below uh, one method that I personally have been using is those little sticky pads. Okay, they're like a big thing with heaps of sticky stuff on it. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> okay, and then they have a little attractant bait in the middle and it really seems to help with the, the pantry moths. Okay, uh, but maybe I should be replacing them more often. <laughs> anyway, my bad. So why low tox methods? Okay, and this is, you know, I used to think, honestly, I used to think this was just for hippies, right? Okay, until you get kids and you realize that kids like eat this stuff and they totally shouldn't be. Like, you know, I had one of my girls eat toilet cleaner one time. I had one of them get into a wart remover, like totally gross, okay? And when you realize how dangerous some of these things are, even my husband one time, when he was working, he was uh, packing shelves at like the local supermarket and he dropped washing powder on his face, let alone, you know, needless to say, three days later, or about a week later, three or four days later, he ended up in intensive care because his blood wasn't clotting. So, you know, we're starting to realize that this stuff in our bodies is pretty unsafe. And, you know, that's one reason we use um, low tox methods in this house because it actually um, disrupts certain things in the body, okay? It stops the body from communicating well. It um, plays with the immune system. There's so many different things that it plays with in the body and it's just simply not supposed to be there. Um, so that's one reason why we do that, okay? Uh, and if you wanna know, know more about that and things that we actually do come into contact with that are really no good for us, we are actually running a workshop on this on Tuesday, okay? Tuesday, Australian time, 9.30. If you're in uh, America, that'll be Monday evening, okay? And it's 22 Australian to attend. It does not matter where in the world you are. You can attend live or you can watch it on the replay. Totally up to you, okay? And to register for that, you go to enhancing-life.com forward slash workshop, okay? And we're gonna talk about more of those things there as well, okay? But anyway, back to our topic today. That's, that's why we do low tox because it's uh, helping build our bodies and helping build the communication systems in our bodies a lot better. So, do you have solutions for weevils and bugs in your pantry? Okay, what do you do low tox wise? I'm, this is a serious question, okay, because I want to know more solutions. Maybe there's more I can be doing. Maybe I should just be cleaning out my pantry more often. You can let me know that down below as well. <laughs> okay, but seriously, you know. I haven't actually looked into it yet, but there may be some essential oils that I could use in there as well. Um, what do you do? I'm seriously, genuinely curious as to what other people do to reduce you know, infestations in our pantry and save our food. Anyway, you let me know down below, and if you know someone that this video can help, then feel free to share it, okay? Or tag someone down below. Anyway, you have an awesome day, and I will see you tomorrow.